Oh, she's gone for it. <laughs> Do you know what? What? Does anybody read the shit they put in newspapers? I Look at that, it weighs more than the book. Why are you wearing a menopausal top? Have you suddenly aged? <laughs> you cheeky Menop- git. <laughs> I'm taking it off. Oh, this could be good. Okay, <laughs> roll the titles. Okay, welcome back, my friends. The summer is here uh, for a little bit today. The wind is still going. There's a northerly wind which makes it cold. And there's a a bit of a breeze going on in politics at the moment. We won't bore you with all of that too much today. But uh, Rishi Sunak's in the ship for leaving uh, the memorial thing a bit early. Well, you know. Come on. All right. And Nigel Farage is really kicking up a storm. Isn't he? Everywhere you look. Nick Ferrari, who's great. Fiery Farage ignits. What's an ignit? I, I would suggest it says ignite. Ignite. Oh, ignite. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the Fiery thing Fiery Farage ignite the election at last. So he's kicking on. He's going to stand in Clacton, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's. Yeah. he's Wait, have, they, have they locked that bitch up yet who threw the yogurt at him? I, they've charged her. Yeah, what Charged get? someone. Well, I think it's. I Hold mean, off. it's. It really annoys me. And I think you said the same on, on this week. The people on the left laughing, mm. right, because it's Nigel Farage and they don't like him. Yeah. That is not the point. No, it's that not. is not the point. You can't yeah. just make a rule for one person. Ultimately, that's assault. And that could have been acid. And you can't laugh because it's Nigel Farage and then say, if that was Diane Abbott or if that was Angela Rayner, they'd be going mad, quite rightly, yeah. that, you know, there's a politician going out there that's got the balls to go and speak to people, mm. which a lot of them haven't. And you understand why, to be honest. I mean, two MPs have been murdered in the in the last eight years. In the mm. past eight years, um, whatever you think of their politics, you shouldn't be putting your life on the line. No. Uh, Do you remember that um, geezer who threw an egg at John Prescott and yeah, John Prescott chinned him? him. In the face. <laughs> <laughs> and Tony Blair went, "Well, that's John." But two, right? Um, but the whole Sunak thing, I obviously disagree with you because who's, I think who's it's Sunak? Rishi Sunak. You said Sunak. I did, I was Sunak. (laughs) Sunak. But I I think him leaving D-Day was just the most, the worst political decision. Yeah. I mean, what, do we, what, who is advising him? Who is it? 12-year-old girl, probably. David Cameron was there, right? Why didn't he go, I'm not being funny? There is no on. way of making but this look up. good. D- didn't he go and do all his bit that he had to do, that he didn't stay for all the other people being there? Do you not... The optics of that, it's D-Day. It's oh, yeah. the 80th anniversary of D-Day. <clears throat> I, I, I think it just shows you just how out of touch they are with with real people and what matters to real people. And I just don't think was there's the any German excuse. Was the German Chancellor there? He was. Was he? Mm. Oh, God. But I just That's don't like think being the, doing the lap of honour at Wembley if you're the loser, isn't it? I took my little boy to a, a D-Day uh, event in Weymouth because obviously uh, some US troops left yeah, they from did. Weymouth. Yeah, they so did. there's a beautiful plaque on the wall um, that's sort of preserved where they carve their names into the stone. So I, I occasionally take him to see that anyway. Vandals. Um, <laughs> and um, it's so heartening that that is never touched. That's never, vand- you know, it's, it's preserved. Um, and so I took him to this D-Day event because I think it's so important. He's only eight. He doesn't understand mm. the complexities mm. of war. Um, but I just think it's so important that children have this respect. Because I, I, oh, yeah. I read a survey and I think it was it, something terrifying um, that over half, I think it's 51% of 18 to 34 year olds didn't know what D-Day was. No, well, that's won't. terrifying. But, but they know where they get their eyelashes done and their false <laughs> lips done and the railings done in Turkey. They know all about Love Island. They'd be on mastermind about Love Island. But you ask them where Sword Beach was it's and who te- took it, they won't know. Terrifying. But there again, they say, do, why do we need to know? Because, because we, I mean, we keep saying time and time again, you know, we cannot forget this because it, it can't happen again. Mm. And the thing is, it is happening again. Yeah. It is happening again. And you've got, you've got these kids protesting on the street and they don't, you know... Queers for Palestine. <laughs> what? The Queers for Palestine group, which is essentially Turkeys for Christmas group. Um, and they just, you know, and, 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 and they just... 
and they're protesting for something they don't understand. And then we've got Jewish people on the streets that are terrified to, to go out in the streets of London. You know, and it was, it was only, it, wow. it's so well, easily forgotten. And that's why it's so important for me, for my little boy, Mm. To, to, and bless his little heart. Yeah. So they had this open air screen and they had sort of the actors, you know, and the, the military vehicles. And they played The Longest Day. It's black mm. and white, 1962 film. And bless his little heart, he just sat there and watched it. And, and he was asking questions because, you know, his great granddad was at D Day. He, he obviously mm. never met him. Um, and we, we have to keep this going. We have to remember the we sacrifices do. of those we men. Do. Because men. If, Funny, isn't it? Wasn't very diverse that beach, was it? Oh, you heard. I think Keir Starmer said those oh. brave men and women. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there were, there there were no words. women running well, there were some very brave SOE agents. Oh, of course and, and, and there were, but they weren't like they were on the beaches. So yeah, let's, you know, let's not be. Yeah. Have you seen the new Miss Alabama? What? <laughs> Have you seen her? No. She's about the size of a whale, right? Um, <laughs> Miss Alabama? Yeah. What colour is she? I think she's white. Good God. But. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me find her. But I want to show you a picture of her. Right, but here is how mad our world has gone, right? Yeah. So, you know, back in the day, the days where, like, beautiful people competed for these things and beautiful people would be on Calvin Klein adverts, etc. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, look at this. That's Miss Alabama. Holy fuck. She's the size of the state. <laughs> right, so she's, and then she's one that, like, she's put out this message going, yes. I'm big, but beautiful and happy. You go, no, you're not happy, right? You're not happy. You can't possibly be that size and be happy. I don't give a shit if someone's fat or not, right? Do what you want. Live your life. Do what you want. However, can we all stop celebrating it, right? You wouldn't celebrate someone being anorexic. You'd say, dude, drill, <coughs> bloody eat something. You wouldn't celebrate me smoking. You'd say, that's bad I for don't you. Celebrate. No, you, exactly. You wouldn't, you'd go, no, that's bad for you. So if you're the size of a horse... Right? Don't celebrate and say that's beautiful because it's not and it's massively unhealthy. Well, it is, yeah, but what do you do? She's doing? got all these gorgeous girls around her and then her, like you say, the size of a state, and you go, she didn't win that, did she? What? Did you see um, the way the BBC covered the debate, right? So you've got all the candidates talking. Giving their I never saw any bullshit. Of it. I, find, I don't like it. They were arguing one Yeah, and it's all, nice. I mean, it's. it's yeah. But every time Farage spoke, the BBC cut to this bloke in the audience going, mm. right? They didn't do it for any other candidate, yeah. just him. Anytime he said anything, mm. and he well, just said, you can't like even him, pretend must, to if be in If they don't impartial. like him, he must be doing something right. Right, correct. He? And he's mm. speaking for lots of people. Um, and you, I think you read it out the manifesto the other day, you know. Uh, no income tax unless you earn 20 grand. Why nobody else has done that, I don't know. I mean, that will immediately help a lot of working people straight away. You know, and not... it'll help the rich as well. Pardon? It will help the rich. Because if you're earning 100,000 a year, you don't pay tax on the Fine. first 20 yeah, grand. Yeah, I just think I can't believe anybody's not doing it. Um, you know, we're not going to no non essential immigration. Great. Who is it who said they're going to shut down all these Turkish barbers that keep opening up? Oh, I everywhere? don't know. That is, that Tice, I I is that Richard Tice? Is that Yeah. He said, there's, you've never seen in one ice street, he counted seven. Seven barbers. It's a lot, with all right? the blokes. They've got pictures <laughs> of blokes. It's all the same fucking haircut. Do you go? I go to some. Do you? Do you have your nose done and your ears done? Do you know what he did once? Like little flame? Right. Tasha takes me and sits there and stands there like I'm a kid <laughs> with the mum. Just do it there, do that there, and sort his ears out. I thought he was going to go zzz, zzz. He snuck a fucking thing in some wax, like a Q-tip, put it, left me stack there like that. <laughs> and then pulled it out. Oh, fucker, I could have murdered him. Did you have one up your nose as well? I refused. Did you? I refused to have the nose. Thing. Really? Are you going to be watching the football? No. Why? Who's Scotland playing? No, well, it's the Euros, isn't it? Oh, it, well, they, didn't England just lose against Iceland? They did. Oh, I hate Iceland. I won't go in there. I don't go in Aldi's either. You never know that they had a football. Boom. Yeah, so it was only a friendly, wasn't it? It was. And they got rid of that Jack Grealish bloke and someone else. I, I, I'm not a massive fan of international football. I love football, but I'm not a massive fan of international football. So I, I, I saw on Facebook a load of sort of my male mates going, what's he playing at? And so-and-so is in the wrong position and God knows what. But it is only a friendly. And I think from what I've heard... 
We're playing again well, this week in England, playing again? I don't know. I don't know, because they, they play, on the, I believe, on the 16th is their first game for the tournament. Um, and from everything that's been said, we, we should win, really, with the talent we've got. Um, so Ali's going over for 10 days. Obviously, he's a mad Scotland fan. Um, so he's over there for 10 days. So he flies out next week. And I've told him he's got to wear pants under his kilt. <laughs> you never will. I know. I say, right, my only condition is that you wear pants. And he's like, what? It's just in case. Well, you, just in case. Great was... big hairy bollocks. <laughs> I don't want people <laughs> copping a field during the celebrations. <laughs> Little things on Twitter make me laugh, right? You know, yeah. and, and so somebody will just write something. And you know, when, Deb, when I start laughing and I just can't stop laughing. It's called being pissed. <laughs> no, I do it all the, and I can't stop myself. So there was somebody had written about, you know, that India Willoughby, the trans, oh, it's a bloke. I've met India. I, I am, am a woman. He's, he's, he's gone mad. He genuinely thinks, he's like, I was no, you weren't born a woman, and you've still got to have your prostate checked at some point, dude, which means you're not a woman. But um, so, <laughs> so um, he put something on Twitter, and somebody had said, uh, I can't believe that you are being so dis disrespectful to India Willoughby during Pride Month. And this bloke had put, I'm not being funny. Just because it's the holy month of Tranadan doesn't mean we can't take Tranadan. the piss. The holy month of Tranadan. And I just burst out laughing and I couldn't stop. And Ali called me and he's like, are you all right? Like, ah, what are you laughing at? The holy month of Tranadan. Ah, oh, well done, British people. Have you noticed that she's on fire today, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I'm going to drug test her in a moment. But, uh, I think I'm still...